Van life is full of surprises. Uh, most of them are good, but some of them are bad. This is a story of a bad surprise that we got after about seven months on the road, came back to NorCal, see some friends and family. Our Subaru had been parked for all seven of those months. And uh, yeah, there's a little unhappy surprise waiting under the hood. Well, here's what happens when you leave your vehicle parked for seven months and you put a bunch of rodent repellent under the hood. Yeah. <clears throat> rodent repellent. Rodent nest. Rodent repellent. Rodent feces. I mean, fucking rodents. Uh, this is not exactly van build content, but uh, it's van adjacent, uh, and uh, it's a pretty clever trick for uh, fixing what could have been a very expensive project pretty cheaply. So uh, hopefully this is helpful for you at some point in the future. Let's get into it. Awesome. Oh, that's just a spark plug wire. It's no big deal. There's another one right there. And that's a whole fucking wiring harness. Fuck my eyes. Ugh. Okay, got that whole fucking mess cleaned up. Uh, it looks mostly like it's just this. Uh, there's two spark plug cables, this one and this one that used to connect here that are totally gone. And then we have this harness here that's shredded and then this one that goes back here that is totally shredded. This, I mean, maybe there's enough to get a splice going on there, but, uh, no, no, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a problem. I do have from a parts Subaru that I had on the property, this doodad, but... As you can see, they're not exactly the same. So if this is this, this electrical harness has one and two. This is both three wire. This has a fucking six wire, but not a second one. Uh, this stuff over here coordinates with this stuff here, but they're not exactly the same. But I don't need them to be the same. What I'm hoping is that maybe I'll just be able to find some of these that I can use. You know what I'm saying? This is a problem. And also, the, uh, the only two spark plugs that I'm, wires that I'm missing off of this one are the two that I need off of that one. So maybe these two are the right length? No. No, bro. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll fucking, we'll see. I just need some, 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 some high octane uh, medicine right now. I'm gonna put you on time lapse and see how this goes. So first off, just getting those spark plugs out of there and seeing if they're the right length, which they are not. So gonna have to buy some spark plugs. Next, we're just going in and trying to see if we can get some. Uh, uh, meet up between these wires on this short, short, short connection. Yeah. No. No, bro. So we're just going to clean up the other one that we do have enough wires to uh, work with there. Uh, I mean, I gave this one a shot, but it just I couldn't get the wires to uh, meet up uh, uh, with the bendies and the, it just wasn't working. So I, I, I said, screw it. But for the other one, 
there was enough wire throw some shrink wrap on there put some wire connected connectors on it with insulation and uh, get that second wire connector to work just fine so after surveying the carnage i decided to go to the hardware store and i knew that i needed to get some new spark plugs that was a no-brainer and i was hoping that they were going to have some sort of uh, oval three wire plug that looked like it would fit into that one that was uh, too short of wires to work with uh and they did well they could have ordered one that was looked like it was the right size but it was uh, 60 bucks and i was like f that i'm not playing 60 dollars for a piece of plastic with three wires attached to it that's ridiculous so we had to take another avenue Basically what we did was we just got one of these uh, kits. I actually had it on hand already uh, of These spade connectors and they come in three different sizes in this kit. It's ten bucks. I mean no-brainer those smallest ones fit in to the male side of my uh, of, of the, the the wire harness and I could just uh, uh, hook those in there get it all wired up and all I needed was some uh, some RTV, some sort of uh, gasket making or uh, uh, rubberized uh, fill in there to keep it all dry. It doesn't really matter which type you use, uh, but this allowed me to basically build my own little wire harness connector. So just took those spade connections and uh, put them on to the wires that I needed to go into the plastic connector. Uh, pretty simple to uh, work with there no big deal as far as putting those on then i'm just uh plugging them in to the male side of that uh connection almost got them wrong put them in the wrong place there that would have been bad but once i got them in the right place looking pretty good now i just got to get those to stay in place as we're driving through the earthquake of life that's where this black silicone adhesive sealant comes in i'm just filling in that whole area with this sealant uh, to hold those in place so they're not wiggling out now this doesn't this is not a work of art this is just fixing a 23 year old car so that it can continue to drive long enough for me to sell it basically but i i want this to last so we got a little uh shrink wrap on there seal that up as well as we can and then we're going to be putting a bunch more of this adhesive silicone sealant just anywhere that uh, will keep the water from intruding or anywhere that uh, will hold the shape that I want these wires to be bent in. Again, if this is not an art project, you guys. I, I hear you in the comments about what an ugly, sloppy job this is. Uh, just wait, wait until the end. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine. We're going to put some wire uh, conduit around that and you're not going to see any of this nonsense uh, eventually. Final couple connections here on this uh, second wire uh, connection that I had enough wire to work with. And that baby is ready to snap back into its home. Thank you very much. Get those new spark plug wires installed where they go. Might as well do all four of them. Why not do a tune-up here while we're at it? Now it's just a matter of starting up the rig. Cross your fingers, say a little prayer. Boom. Perfecto. I'm actually quite surprised that this uh, worked. I, I figured there would have been some uh, other wires chewed that I could not see. Uh, but there wasn't. So all's well that ends well. Uh, put the little cap back on the, uh, the battery there. Uh, rev the engine a little bit to make sure the throttle position sensor and everything is uh, behaving the way that it should and yeah we're, we're, we're good to go uh we had to leave this parked for a little while longer and i looked around did some more research and it turns out peppermint oil is the way to go now the main bad move on my part when uh we left for a seven month road trip uh was uh, thinking that the rodent deterrents uh would work um they did work but uh, over the course of seven months, the, the smells that are coming out of the rodent deterrents, uh, they, they, they wear off. It needs to be refreshed. 
So uh, to fix that problem, when we left the vehicle this last time for another uh, five or six months worth of uh, driving around the country without the Subaru, uh, what we did, we did the peppermint oil, which everyone will tell you is the best way to go. Uh, but I uh, set up a, a spray bottle and I cracked the engine a little bit so it wasn't as cozy as a, as a spot for the rats to, to hang out in. And then a good buddy of mine, he's going to come by every once in a while, every week or so, uh, respray uh, the peppermint oil all up in the mix. So uh, to avoid this problem in the future, I recommend uh, peppermint essential oil, water, and then a little bit of like dish detergent just to get it to stick to things and just spray the hell out of everything that has a wire exposed and then pop that hood a little bit to keep those bastards from getting in there and uh, sharpening their teeth on your uh, electric tidbits. Okay, great. And then uh, finally, to top it all off, like I said, just throw some uh, wire conduit around there, uh, make it look like none of this nonsense ever happened. Uh, pretty clean, pretty safe, uh, and operational, which is it was the main point. So I hope you found that helpful or at least mildly entertaining at my expense. Um, if you haven't seen the tour to the video, here's a preview of that. It will be uh, turning into a link in just a second. You can see a full tour of this van. Um, I post videos just about every week on this van build. Lots more to come. If this is the kind of thing that you enjoy, give me a subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Here's the long roads.